What's going on everybody? How are you doing? It's your guy Waddles here and today I'm coming at you with five fresh, totally cool, definitely serious, extremely efficient ideas for the new wonderful sea pickle. That's right, I have five really useful ideas, things you can do to use the sea pickle in your world once 1.13 comes out or if you're playing in the snapshot. Now keep in mind that every single one of these ideas that I have for you is completely serious and very, very useful for your world. Now I ask you a favor, if you enjoy the video, leave a like on it, maybe even subscribe, and I think it's time to talk about the pickles. Now, unfortunately, my apologies, please don't be mad at me, I didn't want to have to do it to you, but the first idea or ideas are a little boring. This is all the one idea right here, but of course you can use sea pickles for lighting up your river, your lake, your whatever you need to do. Pickles are interesting because if you put it underwater on one block, so let's go uh, over here where it's a little darker, you put one, that's one, then two, that's two, three, four, and it keeps getting brighter and brighter. That's the interesting thing about that. So you can use that to light up a lake, a river, uh, a pond, a ocean, I guess, if you wanted. Now that's a little boring, a little lame, a little basic, so I packed some other ideas in here. Of course, you can use pickles for this kind of arrow pointer thing. Now you have an arrow and one is diagonal, right, with the arrow, but with a pickle, one would be one straight up, you know, the starting position is what I'm talking about. So you can spin it around, you know, and have some kind of redstone secret door thing in here if you wanted, if you didn't want to use an arrow. And now welcome to my kitchen where I'm using pickles and lots of them for jars and bottles. I really need to clean up. This shouldn't be all over the counter, a little messy looking, but you could use pickles for a jar or a container of some sort. Kind of an interesting use for them, but I think it works and I think it fits. If you have a kitchen all set up with all of the details and you throw these on the counter, uh, the bottle idea kind of stands out a little bit, uh, but maybe go a little lighter on the bottles on your counter. Okay, now that that one's over, we can get into the more fun ideas for the pickles. Now, of course, torches are boring, right? Of course they are boring, and they're also really, really ugly. So you could use sea pickles to light up your field. Now, of course, if you place the sea pickle down, no light, right? So you just throw some water on it, easy as that, and you'll have a lit up field in no time. Just like that. Now, you will have water all over your field, but honestly, that's probably okay. Uh, it looks very nice, trust me. You just want to go and throw the pickles around everywhere. Uh, try not to swim in the water because that is very annoying, of course. But like I said, in no time, you'll have no spawns on your whole field and it will be all lit up. And of course, you don't have to deal with any of those awful looking torches because uh, you really don't want to, you know, use any of those. And soon, you see, no creepers are in here at all. There's some over there, but I didn't light that up yet, of course. But none in here. All lit up with sea pickles and only sea pickles. Kind of cool. Now let's say you find yourself in the nether, stranded next to a lava pit. Maybe you're trying to cross it. Maybe you, you floated into the middle of it, fell on it. I don't know. You're by lava, right? This next idea will be very, very useful for you. Sea pickles make a great lava remover so if you come on in here and you start throwing pickles around they will eventually take out the lava now the only problem here is that you do need to put them on a block so right in here we throw a nether rack down first then we throw a pickle look at that the lava is gone you will easily drain a lava ocean in no time with this method then you can easily cross the the ocean no more nether tunnels all of that boring stuff very time consuming as well so this is a lot faster in my opinion to to clear lava definitely probably the best way so another item you need to take to the nether not only flint and steel but definitely sea pickles <laughs> now of course this next tip for sea pickles is probably my favorite as you all know i am a builder and i have a good eye for building too uh, that's what I really like to do in this game. So of course you can use sea pickles for a base wall. Now this design definitely does use depth because a pickle isn't flat on a block. You see if we had a wall just like this that would be pretty flat and I would say it needs depth. But by using sea pickles you already have depth. Now of course if you're really rich with sea pickles you can go ahead and throw a few more on the block but 
I just did one for example. Now this will keep your base safe from everything you need and you can always see what's in your base too from the outside. It's like a glass wall, but you don't have to go find a desert. Kind of nice here, but I think it adds a nice touch to your build. And like I said, depth is already taken care of. And if you throw more pickles in, depth gets even more taken care of. This is probably going to be the safest base idea once 1.13 comes out. So I would jump on preparing that. Throw your floor in. If you want a roof, you can do that. But honestly, I don't mind having no roof. And then, of course, set up your whole setup here. I just have a small base, so just some some crafting tables, some furnace, uh, a few bookshelves, you know, your basic necessities, but pickles make an awesome building block and definitely good for your base walls. Now, finally, my last idea, and a very interesting one at that, for pickles, once 1.13 comes out. For some reason, it wasn't said that pickles are actually the new strongest weapon in the game. So here we go. I have my power pickle right here. Efficiency 5, of course. Power 5, of course. And then mending. You always need to throw mending on everything. You don't want to lose it, right? So all you need to do is, of course, make sure you're in survival. Adds to the effect, right? And then you can take your sea pickle and just start killing chickens with it. They work very well on chickens. They, of course, work well on everything else, but the sea pickle seems to be stronger against chickens. The problem is that they run around so much and it's kind of hard to hit them sometimes. But once you hit them, you will find that the pickles usually kills a chicken in three or four, sometimes five punches, which is pretty darn good when you compare it to like a diamond sword a trident, a bow, the pickles are definitely the strongest weapon, and I was surprised this wasn't said in snapshot details, but I have found that out for you, and you can trust me on it, it works pretty well, but of course, make sure you can get out of your chicken pen. Now, like I said, the pickles are pretty strong, but I do recommend fighting chickens with them because they seem to kill chickens faster than they kill, say, a creeper, a zombie, but trust me, it will work on anything. The pickles are a very, very useful weapon and probably um, going to be good for PvP as well. That's pretty cool. And so that is five useful ideas, ways that you can use sea pickles once 1.13 comes out, of course. Now, if you remember my top five things in 1.13 video, sea pickles are definitely number one now. So small correction to that one. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, of course, like I ask on every other list video, if you have a cool idea, please share it down below in the comments. What could I be using sea pickles for in my Let's Play world once 1.13 comes out? Let me know what you're thinking down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe too. Check out those links in the description. There's a Twitch. Uh, you could see me using sea pickles live on stream if you were interested in that. And my name is Waddles. I hope you enjoyed. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everyone.